A lot of people have an image of Buddhist monks in terms of how they look, how they dress, and most importantly to some, what they eat. One misconception about Buddhism is that if you decide to partake in this religion, you will need to become a vegetarian and maintain that lifestyle for as long as you're on the path. This is both correct and incorrect. Let me explain. It's true in the sense that most who practice Buddhism have a desire not to take another's life. So in that essence, that means you can't take the life of an animal, which would mean that you can't eat meat. Nonviolence is a major teaching in most branches of Buddhism, however the practice of eating meat itself is not condemned, just the means. So by that token, there are loopholes, such as eating meat from an animal that has already passed away, because you yourself did not take the creature's life. So whether by nature or another hand, the creature is a gift to you, and so the meat is okay to be eaten. You should be ready to become a vegetarian though if you decide to take on Buddhism, but you don't have to go fully down that path if you don't want to. Number three, women have a much harder path. The world today doesn't fully believe in equal rights in regards to men and women, and if you look at many of the ancient or older religions, you'll see that women aren't exactly the most revered people in the stories and legends. Buddhism, sadly, is no different. In fact, it's stated in the teachings that women actually will have a much harder time trying to reach true enlightenment than men have. What's more, the faith believes that Buddha will be reincarnated, or has been in the past, but all depictions of him have been male. Going even further down this rabbit hole, a woman can never be the Dalai Lama in the current faith, which means that they can never achieve one of the highest honors in the religion. It's possible that this could change over time, but at present, it's not looking good. Number two, Big Buddha. If there's one thing that the modern world has taught us, it's that we like to exaggerate the looks of certain people to match our beliefs of what they exactly look like. And Buddha is no different. If you were to look up pictures of Buddha, or more specifically Buddha statues, you would find a rather chubby guy with a big smile. That's not Buddha. In fact, Buddha was documented as being very skinny, which would make sense as he did intentionally live in poverty for six years. And even after achieving enlightenment in his life, he wouldn't have gorged himself on food as that would betray the middle path he was aiming for. If you're curious as to who the smiling Buddha is, that would be a Chinese man named Budai, who also achieved enlightenment, but I guess that detail got lost in translation.